On today's episode, I want to talk to you guys about my experience in college and to share with you guys five lessons that I learned while I was in college. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin and you are watching That Christian Vlogger. If you happen to be new here, I make videos aimed to help you have a stronger walk with God and to help you discover His purpose for your life every single Monday and Thursday, so definitely consider subscribing. I know that a good chunk of you guys watching are right around that college season of your life, so hopefully these, uh, these tips, these lessons will help you get the most out of your college experience. Tip number one, know what you're trying to get out of college before you even get there. When I was in high school, I had absolutely no clue about what I was going to do in college. Like, no clue what I was passionate about or what I wanted to do with my life. In fact, when, when people would ask me what I was going to study, I just pretty much defaulted to dentistry because that's what my dad always did. Which, now that I think about it, really would have been a terrible idea since I always hated science classes and I actually had to take chemistry three times in high school. If you don't know what you're trying to get out of your college experience, then many times you just end up wandering around aimlessly copying what other people are doing. And by doing this, you're not truly going to become the kind of person that God wants you to be simply by following what the crowd is doing. You're just, you know, going to become one of those mindless sheep, just a simple product of your environment. In a typical university, whatever type of experience you are looking for, then you're going to be able to find it. And it doesn't matter if you're going to a public or a private university, it's all actually the same. For example, are you really wanting to learn as much as you can and you're really trying to get that 4.0 GPA? Well, if you are, then there's going to be other people who can help you get there. Or perhaps on the other end of the spectrum, maybe you're looking more to do some socializing and to meet some new people and really just to like party it up. Because yeah, even at a Christian university, you can find those people as well. When I had first gone into my first year of college, I had just given my life to Christ and I was absolutely determined to learn as much as I could about the Bible and to do my best to use my gifts in service to other people. Thankfully, I was able to find exactly just that. So what are you going to college for and what are you trying to get out of it most of all? Tip number two, realize that figuring out your career path is actually a super important thing. Now, you're going to get both sides of the coin when it comes to advice on this subject. Some people on one hand will say, you know, don't worry about figuring it all out. You know, you're going to college and you've got a couple years to kind of figure things out and it'll happen eventually. Now, while I get this advice and I actually agree with it in many different ways, I actually want to highlight the importance of figuring this out as soon as humanly possible. More and more and more, our generation doesn't seem to really know what we want to do in life. And maybe it's from the hours that we've spent you know, watching Netflix or the hours of playing video games that we've spent, but many of us just feel confused when it comes to the future. Did you know that the most common declared major on college campuses is actually, ironically, undeclared? In fact, the average college graduate changes majors three times while they are there. And I know that this was true for me. You know, I started off initially as a religious studies major and then ended up actually graduating with a degree in business marketing. And that doesn't even include all the other times that I thought about switching my majors, you know, to music or to teaching. And I thought about doing philosophy or even media at one point in time. So, you you know, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that switching uh, focuses or switching majors is wrong per se, but what I am saying is that it can become very, very expensive. For example, I went to a Christian university first year out of high school with several of my friends, but this school cost over $30,000 every single year. Now, thankfully, I didn't actually end up finishing there, but I do have some friends who did. And what's even crazier than that is that some of them finished their degrees and then ended up working for like one or two years and then ended up later quitting their jobs and going back to school because they realized that they hated their jobs. So, you know, kudos to them for chasing their passions, but at the end of it all, that's a $120,000 detour. So obviously figuring out your career path earlier is better, but what do I do if I don't really know what my passion is yet? Well, for starters, consider taking a gap year. And I know that it's unconventional, but who says that you have to start college right away? Try taking a year to experience a dozen or so different possible career paths. Shadow your friends and your family and careers that you think that you could do well at and see what it would be like to live a day or a week or a month in their shoes. Or for another consideration, why not think about dedicating a year or two in service to God? 
my wife Emily did that as a missionary to the Philippines, and I happened to dedicate two years uh, in a volunteer basis for a ministry here in the United States. In Emily's case, she figured out that she wanted to be an occupational therapist while overseas, and I had realized that God had called me into ministry during my time serving. So, you know, who knows what you could learn about yourself while serving. Tip number three is to realize that some of the most important things that you can learn will actually take place outside of college. Obviously, my hope for you is that you learn as much as you possibly can for college, but I can't help but feel that really it was the experience of college that taught me so much more than the actual classes in college. Seek to meet people from all different walks of life, you know, from different parts of the world, from different faith backgrounds, and to learn from different cultures. You can learn so much about the way that people live and the way that God is working in their lives when you just simply sit down and you get to know people who happen to look and sound different than you do. Now, to be clear, this doesn't mean that you have to compromise your beliefs or your ethics in life, but you can, in fact, seek to meet new people and to try new things and have experiences that you can take with you for the rest of your life. Tip number four, create healthy financial habits. Realize that the financial habits that you create during your college experience, that they will last long after college. You know, so for perhaps the first time in your life, you're going to be financially independent, which is both a huge and great blessing, but it's also even a bigger curse. Or at least it, it can be potentially. Do not get caught up making decisions that will haunt you for the rest of your life. Don't spend your student loans carelessly because you will regret this. I know people who have spent literally thousands of dollars from their student loans on international vacations. This is a trap. Yes, their Instagram feed might be on fire for a few weeks, but I guarantee you it's not going to be worth it. Do not make it a habit of getting into debt in order to buy things or experiences that you really don't need. Learn to live within your means and avoid debt like the plague. When my parents were sending me off to college, they had just one piece of financial advice for me. Don't ever buy anything on a credit card that you can't pay off within 30 days. It's short and it's simple, but I promise that it will save you from a world of pain. In fact, I'm going to be even a little bit more radical and suggest that you don't ever take out student loans. I know that it sounds crazy, but there are so many ways to make it through college debt-free. Yes, I did say debt-free. How do I know? Because I actually did it. I graduated with a bachelor's degree with absolutely zero dollars in debt, and I actually know several other people who have done it before, so it is possible. Tip number five, don't spend your free time, invest it instead. You will never have as much free time in your adult life as you did when you were in college. And I know that this is going to sound crazy because college can seem really intense for many of us, but I believe that it's true. Most of you guys are single and you don't have to work a 40 hour a week job and you don't have any children. And as much as you feel like you don't have free time, let me tell you, you do. So with that being said, don't just spend your free time doing meaningless things, but instead try to invest those minutes in things that will enrich your life down the line. Now, obviously there is a balance to this and the rest and relaxation, you know, this is an important part of life, but aim to invest as much of yourself into meaningful moments. So what are some examples of places that I suggest you invest your time? Number one is into health and fitness. You know, it's kind of funny, but the freshman 15 is in fact a very real thing. So if you're not careful, the habits that you create during college can haunt you for several years down the line. You know, it's so much harder to get into shape than it is to stay in shape. So get used to the gym and try to make it a part of your daily routine. Number two is to invest your time into community. Certainly more than in high school, the friends that you actually make in college tend to be the ones that you carry with you for years down the line. So make sure that you find some great like-minded people. And this does mean if you're going to a secular university and your faith is important to you, that you may need to get involved with a local church or a campus like Christian club in order to find these types of people. And number three is in service. Jesus said in Matthew, do not lay up for yourselves treasure upon the earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But instead lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. There you have it, five tips for college students. Let me know which one stood out to you the most and what tip would you add to the list? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked it, go ahead and share it with a friend. But until next time, I'm That Christian Vlogger and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.